Today's episode is both naughty and nice. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Special Holiday episode. Today we're looking back with a seductive gaze at the top five sexiest moments of the year. And a portion of today's episode is sponsored by Audible, but more on that later. Okay, so a lot of crazy announcements came out this year. Some we expected, some we didn't. Were we named Sexiest Man Alive? No. <laughs> uh, were we expecting to be named Sexiest Man Alive? No. Yes. yes. No. But we have plenty of sexy moments right here at this very desk and we're about to reveal the top five of them as voted on by you, the sexy mythical beasts. Okay, let's get sexy. Starting off at number five, two best buds get up close and personal while trying glasses designed to help couples maintain the most intimate of eye contact. Oh, These eccentric glasses. spectacles are to be worn by two people at once. We're already and thinking. These chic black frames will we have to do this. We have to do this. Perpetual lip lock. This is just a meeting, okay? This is just gonna be a meeting between business partners. Don't get any ideas. Right. Just a meeting. All right, you could come halfway. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna get. You can use your hands. I'm gonna get. I don't want to use my you hands. You just use your hands to grab the. Just, <laughs> just use your. T- turn this around. Use, right. use your hands to grab my shoulders. Yo, use your hands. Man. I don't want to use it. Not fun okay, to do that, right? I'm all the way in. Uh, uh, I, have I have to, to use, use, use my hands. Okay. I, I don't want to talk. Okay. Uh, Why are you? You. This is. You're like, 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 this is a good meeting. <laughs> like good, okay, we call to order the meeting. There this we is, go. What, what there are you they are. crazy, man. Uh, you know how I like to feed you the strawberries at the meeting. What is happening? Now, I feel like I, I can really focus on you. I don't know. I don't see anything else happening. You guys aren't wondering at all. What do you think about the quarterly reports? Oh, oh, oh man! <laughs> Report. <laughs> Report. You freaking emphasis on the freaking. You, you freaking quarterly reported that. Chocolate onto my chin, man. God. I've never once said the, the word quarterly reports in any of our meetings. I know. Just so it, you know. We do have quarterly reports, right? You I, don't, know, I, they, I don't ever say quarterly reports. Every three though. months, there's reports. Do we call man, them quarterly everybody reports? Everybody loves making them, and we love looking at them. Everybody's happy. I've definitely never said it. I've never said Nothing that, makes us that happier than a quarterly a, report. Another person's face. You gotta do it. It's part of the business side was, of mythical. That was pretty sexy, but I think we can get sexier. Let's see number four. At number four, Rhett and Link overinflate Chase's custom, floatable, and unintentionally skimpy inflate mate bathing suit. Uh, so these are not nipples, these are inf- inflation. Yeah, these are inflation points. Yeah, I think yeah. this needs <laughs> to be these are inflated. Uh, Rhett, you can take that one. David, you can probably take that one. Why, hey, why don't you, you volunteer? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is this, is this what to, you were hoping for? Do I have to bite? Do you want us to bite? I don't want you to bite. I have very It sensitive. feels like I should step in here. Oh, but... look at this opened up. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Just like the apple. Oh. Cracked open. Man, look, I, I filled it up in one breath. What is that? What is that? This is gonna. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you gotta snap that? It, yeah, if you. It's kind of one size fits all, just depending on how much you inflate nice. it, I guess. Uh, at this I mean, point, at this inflation This is so time. sexy, isn't it? Yeah, you, you is, know what, you this, gotta... is, this is the number four sexiest okay. moment. Wow. Yeah. I think you just popped a hole in the back. Yep, <laughs> it's definitely deflating, but you know what? Oh. Just like, yep. you no, know, thank you. Chase, you, <laughs> Chase, actually, you do that one yourself, and if you can, I'm gonna be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I couldn't help but know, I don't remember what happened, but I know that David had a had one right there on him. Yeah, I did. What, we didn't take that bait. I, either something happened that we blocked out, yeah, or nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, before we see our next sexy clip, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by Audible, the leading provider of spoken word entertainment all in one place. Spoken word entertainment. Yeah, yes. Audible, um, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks at Audible, ranging from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, languages, business, motivation, and more like original entertainment from top celebrity creators and thousands of popular and binge-worthy podcasts. And Audible's new Plus catalog makes the membership so much more valuable and gives uh, all members a chance to listen and to discover new favorites and new formats. Right, so think about giving yourself or the people you love the gift of an Audible membership this holiday season. It's a gift that keeps on giving. You know, I'm on the top five list of people I enjoy giving gifts to. You are? Maybe top, well, Actually, I'm in the top two of the people that I enjoy giving gifts to. I like giving gifts to myself. 
Okay, well, no matter how much self-gifting you're doing mm -hmm. or no matter where you're going this holiday season, you'll always have just the right thing to listen to at your fingertips. Perfect for commuting, at the gym, long road trips, or just cozying up by the fire. Now, I've been listening to a Project Hail Mary, a novel by Andy Weary, who wrote The Martian, you know, the movie. Oh yeah, movie yes, yes, yes. And uh, I gotta tell you, it is a good story, and it's sort of like, you know, I had that engineering degree. Remember that engineering degree we got many, many years ago? Well, we don't share one. And it's like the last time that I really thought about math in that way, but it just kind of like, it awakened me. And I was like, I'm really enjoying this story, but I'm really glad that I'm not having to do any of the figuring right now. It's a good story. Hmm. You should you should listen. You should All right. listen. All right. Project Hail Mary. Get awakened right now for a limited time. Save 60% on your first three months of Audible. That's only $5.95 a month. So give yourself the gift of listening. For more, you go to audible.com slash GMM. Again, visit audible.com slash GMM or text GMM to 500-500. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. And now, let's see the next one. Our number three sexiest moment involves sucking face with some 23-year-old discontinued candy. Oh, yeah. A lot of kids, and I know you're one of them, uh, you were practicing making out with things. You said that you practice making out with your bedpost? Just for old time's yeah, sake, no just shame go back, in that. be that link in 1992 that was making out with a bedpost, and now you have the opportunity to make out with one of these. Think about what, what... I mean, I'm gonna do it like the way you do it. You start with the mouth closed. Yeah, yeah, you gotta work your way up to the tongue. I, here, you you want to be in charge I'm of the tongue? I'm in charge of the tongue, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, oh, this, this is, is a reminder of why I don't so watch this stuff back. Mommy, but I feel like <laughs> we have a connection. <laughs> oh, dude, I, thought you, I trusted you to not That's how it to works, do anything man. but that. Yeah, but I mean, like, he's very. Kinda, I kind of lost the tooth, man. This is a soft one. Am I, I don't want to put it that soft, soft one in my mouth. It's covered in plastic. Don't shove it, man. Okay, I'm gonna, easy. I'll go easy on you this time, but you got to talk sweet to him. You know, my first date with your buddy didn't end too well, <laughs> uh, but I'm so glad that you swiped right on me. Gross, man. I did. I want you to show <laughs> that camera my perspective. Like zoom in to where it's just this, and just look. Oh Isn't man, sexy. Yes. Oh wow. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I thought you were a cat at first, but you're so much more. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ain't. I didn't touch. My I was having bill. a lot. Of fun. I just let it dance around in the in the. In the uh, twilight. Yeah, man. Dance was, around in the twilight. That was super sexy. That's what it's called <laughs> when you when you don't when you don't return the tongue action. You you let them dance around in the twilight. It's a power play, right? It's a power play. You just take the tongue in and let them do what they want, and then they pull it out, and they're like, "Whoa, okay, maybe I maybe I should do that again." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, give any yeah, kissing yeah, advice. So messed up, man. I'm not messed up. Are we still going? Yeah, let's see the next one. At number two, Rhett and Link become entwined while trying to accomplish the cuddle position, the human braid. And this isn't sexy, this is just... I think you're right. Right, right. Platonic cuddle. Sense. Now, why would they start with a leg that's on the bottom? I think we gotta be pretty close. You gotta get closer to me. <laughs> okay, left right leg. Now? Are you praying? Go over. Yeah, there we go. The braid is about to happen. Your inner thighs are very cushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been massaging them quite a bit. Are you gonna have to go underneath? I believe so. <laughs> Okay. Do that to me. Okay. And then yeah. do that to me. Oh! 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 <laughs> Why are you about to break my wrist, man? Let me go. Go, lo go lower. Let me go underneath. Well, where was my hand? Oh, now now you're gonna break That's my wrist. Not a pillow. Oh! I'm pretty. Okay. I'm pretty much there. Okay. Okay. We gotta get closer. Yeah, we gotta smush in. We gotta get close. We gotta smush. Uh, and there you have it. You get the, get give those... me more of a gap. Give me more well, of a, a give me a gap. gap. Yeah, I gotta get my right. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, up there. Getting locked so, in there. Okay, and then now, now we think about being your face for a second, okay? No, we're not being judged by anybody. I'm not. No. I'm not gonna judge those two guys. No, it's just I mean, two guys in a bed. We, we were being scored by judges. Oh yeah, <laughs> but there was no scoring going on. Uh, no, <laughs> we, I do think that we left that, those onesies completely because intact. we were being scored by judges, including Cuddle Queen Jean. We were very motivated to yeah. uh, to to fully commit to the to uh, to the um, to the exercise. But apparently, it does get sexier. Do you than know that. what's about to happen? I have no idea. I don't know what could be the sexiest moment of the How year. sexy did it get? 
And finally, the number one sexiest moment of 2021, Josh the Raw Beefcake Cartographer learns he's got big shoes and a tiny shirt to fill as he steps in for Chase at the International Dartboard. Now usually Chase measures how far our dart is from the right answer, but Chase is out this week, so in his place is Josh the Raw Beefcake Cartographer. Josh? Josh, get out here, Josh. You know, Chase would already been out here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that it, makes sense. His, On your mark, man. His shirt would have been buttoned, too. I've tried to button it, but it's cutting off a lot of circulation in a lot of places. Oh, so yes. it's basically, it's not that you want it unbuttoned, it's that you cannot button it. We gave yeah, the number one to Josh. Unless you want to try we, it. We no, we didn't, they did. They voted on it. I do not You gave the number one to Josh. Like well, to. I do not it's our try. show. We need to be the sexiest. I'm not mobile in this shirt either. What do we got? Hold on. Look at those tattoos. I'm trying. 44, yeah, get a good look. You won't help me adjust the shirt, but you'll ogle my tattoos. Thank you. <laughs> ogle. Rhett, you've gotten 57. Link, you lost this round. You got 66. I don't know what- He's got his own got. show no, that he yeah, can yeah, be yeah, sexy. Yeah, That's right. I struggle in new environments, you know. This, can we just redo it? Can we start from the beginning? <laughs> nope. This is it. Oh, we got it. It's I won. forever archived. I'm so glad you're here for such a special moment for me that rarely happens. I think you were the key for me. I'll be there every time. I like watching from back there. But I do miss Chase. <laughs> I really miss Ch Chase. What's his name again? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. I miss Cheese. Yeah, so the number one, yeah. it's, it, it, we, it, we, weren't, we weren't the number one sexy on our own well, sexy but, show. But did you see him without a shirt on? Yeah. I mean, I think he deserves it. I mean, it, listen, this was the the people voted, man. The people voted. So there it was, sexy moments, and now a gift. I'm offended. From producers. Okay. Producers. Well, maybe it's a gift Warm card. and wonderful holidays. Every comfort, every joy, every warm, happy thing, all wish for you. I'll read the card part first. Mm -hmm. Happy holidays from your trusty team of producers. We hope you enjoy one more chance to connect with 2021's sexiest addition to GMM. Okay. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> Somebody's being carted in Hannibal Lecter style. If this is Josh again, I'm gonna be pissed. We know what's happening here. I don't think that this is, I don't think this is Josh. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Brittany. <laughs> I totally thought it was not a real person. Did you? I know it scared me. Yeah, it scared you a lot more than it scared me. Didn't though. you think it was gonna be Brittany? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you were motionless, Michelle. Oh, that was that was pretty amazing. You know wow. what? You're still the sexiest in our book. Number one. Forget that raw beefcake. Yeah, yeah. Screw that guy. Or, or if apparently he is number one. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Congratulations to Josh. All right, see you the day after tomorrow when we look back at the top five meltdowns of the year. That doesn't happen on this show. Oh, <laughs> Not sure what to gift a loved one this year? Get him a mythical gift card at mythical.com.